Welcome to our YouTube channel. Please subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to teach you how to use object snaps and how to set object snaps. Object snaps allows you to point accurately to specific locations on your object. To activate, you can press F3 to enable and disable. There is a button below here representing your object snaps. When you right click and then select it, and then you click object snap settings, you can enable each of these object snap modes by clicking on the checkbox on the different options. So in here, that means every time you wanted to point accurately to specific objects, endpoint will be displayed representing by square mark. Midpoint will be displayed represented by the triangle mark, center, the circle mark, quadrant, the dia diamond mark, intersection, the X mark. So this is an accurate pointing to a specific position or location of your objects. Okay, you can do also tangent, perpendicular, and extension. Now, we can try and find out. Okay, click OK. Okay, for instance, if I'm going to select a line, press L, and then starting from this point, if I want to create this line, from this point, okay, and to the midpoint of this line, just click. If I want to create a line, let's say on this midpoint, just click here. If I want to create a line on this endpoint, just click here. If I want to create a line tangent to this circle, you see, tangency is a tangent. Click. If I want to create another line, quadrant of this small circle, let's say on this part, or on this part, quadrant, you see if there's a di uh, diamond displayed, this is the diamond, click, there you go. If you want to connect a line on this intersection, you see the X mark, that's it. So that's the power of object snap setting. It's very easy. If I want to create a line tangent to these two circles, all I have to do is to L, type L for line and then select here. It's a point of tangency, or I can just right click, right click, shift, right click, and then select tangent. And then I can select here. There you go. Tangent to this here, another circle, right click, that's another shortcut, and then select tangent. You see, I'm now creating line tangent to both circles. It's very easy. Click enter. Now, let's say I'm going to create another line starting from this perpendicular to this line and then midpoint of this line. And then in here, maybe connecting on the end point of this or the corner. There's an end point out of this line and then perpendicular to this line again. There you go. Enter. That's it. Thank you for watching.